Welcome back to more of Greg Carson's People We've Come to Know on Channel 9. Now, I know it's getting warm, and spring is just a week away, but tonight I thought we'd take a look back at the warmest part of winter, Christmas time. The Tahoe area is home of the original ski bum. The necessity of skiing back in the early days and the development of the modern ski industry were the perfect conditions to create the culture. It's also created a bit of nostalgia among those first Sierra snow farmers. Fifty-two years ago, it was Nevada's tallest building when it opened in 1947. A few moments ago, as you just saw, the Mapes Hotel was imploded and now stands as Art Deco rubble behind me here in downtown Reno. Welcome back to Our West, a farewell to the Mapes. I'm Greg Carson. I just want to show you a little bit of the destruction, how powerful this was. We're on the Lake Street Bridge, okay? Truckee River rushing behind us, huge debris dam right behind me. A huge chunk of the bridge has actually come away here. This is cement, gave way yesterday. As you get down here, we've got an exposed sewer pipe or some sort of pipe, and uh, that reminds me, whoops, uh, the Washer County Health Department has just let us know that uh, they've had a couple of sewer lines break in the Mill Street area, not far from here as a matter of fact. And they want businesses there not to just charge any sewer, uh, any sewage into the sewer system, probably take a week or so to fix. So there is a lot of cleanup and a lot of damage done by this and we have only begun to total it up. As we mentioned, federal officials are going to be back in the air today taking a look at the damage, assessing things and hopefully uh, getting right to the job of providing federal disaster assistance so we can get this cleaned up and get back to normal around here. This is a News 4 special report, the flood of 97. We have just received word that a dam has broken, the power dam on the Carson River in Gardnerville. State officials tell us that bridges and residents downriver from Lahontan to Fallon are in danger right now. There's also a bridge in the Yarrington area that they're worried about. Again, the power dam in Gardnerville has broken. We have flooding on all rivers and streams in northern Nevada. High water and landslides have closed many roads and highways. We're going to go through the major ones. I-80 West still closed at the California state line because of a slide. Highway 395 South through the Washoe Valley still closed. You cannot get to Carson City or from Carson to Reno right now. Highway 89 closed in all directions off 80 up near Truckee. The Mount Rose Highway is closed because of slides, and in the cities, uh, local streets just too numerous to mention at this point, and urban flood warning is in effect right now, though. Again, expect to run into water on all side streets in northern Nevada. The Reno Tahoe Airport's also closed right now. The runways are one big lake. News 4's Contessa Brewer is at the terminal, and that, too, is beginning to look like uh, it's more water than land anymore, Contessa. Greg, I'm about as high up as I can get. So they're getting rid of the employees at this point, sending them home. There is no time set at all for reopening this airport, is there? No, actually they're saying that they don't know when... They can't drive to Sacramento the way it is because 80's closed with a slide. Right. All right, Contessa Brewer, we know you're probably going to have to leave the airport because you're running out of a place to stand. Okay, we'll talk to you again from another location in about an hour. Besides the airport and the highways, Amtrak is not running today either. The trains are at a standstill. Many local businesses are closed today. We will continue to run a list of them at the lower part of your screen throughout the morning because there are so many. We also want to tell you, though, that Nevada Bell Operators Headquarters are flooded right now. So telephone officials are asking that you do not call directory assistance or the operator unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh, here are some numbers you can call for help right now. It might take a while to get through, but you need to keep trying. Governor Bob Miller has declared states of emergency in four Nevada counties right now. They include Washoe, Douglas, Story, and Carson City. The next step will be getting federal help in here. And Senator Harry Reid joins us live from Washington, D.C. right now. Senator, I understand you have called out the federal emergency management team on this. Uh, yes, I've spoken to James Lee Whit. Uh, that's the reason we have people on the ground there today. As soon as the declaration is received from the governor, that President Clinton will act to uh, declare a state of emergency, which will allow the disaster assistance to start flowing. Senator, what is the process here, if you could briefly explain it? We have a management team come in. What do they look for, and what do they recommend there? What they do is they do a reconnaissance. They send that information back. Senator, can you give us any idea how long people will have to wait once the process of getting federal assistance starts? Is this a matter of days or weeks? It'll be a matter of days. We, as I said, we've had a lot of experience. There are a lot of federal agencies and entities that receive a lot of criticism, but FEMA is not one of them. Senator, as you know, uh, you can't get here from D.C. right now because the Reno airport's closed. But what are your people telling you in terms of magnitude with this? 
Well, I've had my Reno director uh, talking to me almost on an hourly basis. Okay, Senator Reid, we surely appreciate and uh, await the help and support you're able to get us from Washington, D.C. Thanks for joining us this morning. There are going to be a lot of people who need help, federal, state, and whatever else they can get when this is all over. From Verdi to Sparks, residents have had to evacuate their homes. Hundreds are flooded and more are threatened with each passing hour the river rises. This is considered a wasteland by many people, but for all of its harshness and desolation, northern Nevada and the Sierra have become home to many people over the centuries. In fact, this vast expanse of desert holds some of the oldest evidence of humans on Earth. The world's two oldest human mummies were found not far from Reno, and the tribes who have lived here for centuries left behind some of the best preserved artifacts ever found. Hello and welcome to Our West. I'm Greg Carson. Scientists say that humans have lived in this area for about 12,000 years. The natives say they've lived here forever. We'll talk more about the differences between science and native beliefs later on. Also in the next hour, we're going to meet the original Nevadans, coming face to face with a 9,400-year-old mummy, exploring the shores of the ancient Lake Lahontan, and witnessing the near extinction of the traditional native cultures.